Hi, Steve. Tell me what you're bringing to SIF. We are bringing uh, IDIY. Uh, essentially, in a snapshot, that is kind of uh, a smile and a wink to our um, DIY beginnings, um, which was ID, if you don't know, was launched in 1980 by uh, Terry Jones, our founder and uh, editor-in-chief for, for many, many, many years. Um, and the premise of that was he wanted it to be kind of instant, um, fast moving, and he wanted it to kind of embrace the kind of the DIY culture that was, that was kind of filtering throughout London and, and beyond. And so tell me a little bit more about this space. The initial concept was to, to kind of return to our early beginnings. Um, we thought what a nice way to freshen that up would be to, to bring out two members of our um, design team uh, and they're working and they we're inviting uh, SIF um, guests to, to kind of come in and look through probably the last four or five years of our magazine, um, which is 37 years old, but we couldn't bring out the whole archive, but we brought us a nice selection of our most recent issues um, and they can kind of go through them and pick which out which kind of tear outs they like. Um, so whether that's a, a fashion editorial or um, it can be a slogan or anything really. And they can lay them up as they want and they can, they can blow up certain images or they can minimize other ones. Just have a little bit of fun really and kind of embrace what ID was at the very, very beginning. And throughout our history, we've still kind of embraced that kind of um, DIY attitude really. And sometimes there might be a beautiful still, but Terry would look at it and he, he would like a grainy kind of um, or a mistake and then kind of we blow up the mistake and that's the kind of the thing we kind of we want to play with uh, within the SIF space. Is that kind of the ideal takeaway from the visitors that you're looking for kind of to capture the fun element of ID? To that kind of hopefully inspire like the next generation as well we like, we're in to, to create their own magazine as well. I wanted to ask you there's so many iconic ID covers down there there's the Out Already one there's a lot of Kate Moss down there there's the Rihanna Play Loud one which is hugely infamous um, yeah. but what's your favourite cover? I really loved um, our sort of traffic-like cover that had um, Adwa, Elliot and, uh, and Slick Woods as well. I love that. With all different colours and there's just so much <laughs> energy. So yeah, I, I, I'm, always, I'm always trying to looking at much more recent covers rather than, rather than looking back. Although, you know, the archive is a, always a huge inspiration. But what gets you excited about fashion? <laughs> <laughs> um, people, the people behind fashion really get me. I mean, I'm a bit of a... A geek in terms of I always like to know how things are made um, and why they're made in, in certain ways um, so it's basically people and, and ideas. What advice would you give to younger generations? Just to do it I mean that's, <laughs> it, it sounds so simple but we kind of overthink it sometimes screw that just 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 literally just go out and do it and just and work with with your friends um, because that's basically what ID came out of. Okay perfect well, thank you very much Steve.